Personal computer and printer maker Hewlett Packard reportedly plans to split itself into two separate companies, spinning off its technology services business. HP plans to put the PC and printer operations under one roof. So this is one of the biggest names. And so what could the split mean for the The pay scope and scale of the separation is hard to even fathom. So we're really excited about this. We believe it will create real shareholder value. Hewlett Packard. Hewlett Packard. Hewlett Packard. Hewlett Packard. Hewlett Packard splits into two companies. Meg had called me and she said, look, we're gonna split the company. I'd like you to lead the separation. And uh, I thought to myself, wow, that is one heck of a project. I think our whole story is compelling. We divided a company that was 75 years old, that had $112 billion in revenue, carved out the financials, turned that into two, completely separated the company. And we did this basically in nine and a half months. I think it is the biggest, most complex separation that may have ever been done. IT is essential to the strategy of both these companies. It's a real testament to the IT team that we were able to do this. Uh, first thing I start thinking about is I'm going to have to have a leadership team. We're all here permanently for probably two or three weeks. Yeah. I had to say, what does the structure of this team look like? I'm going to need somebody to manage all the infrastructure, so all the data centers, all the networks, all the end user services. Well, we needed to take our best people, our A players, and put them full time on separation. And so you have a very short window of time to figure this thing out. He can get us up and running on some of the switches that we already have installed. Technology is the lifeblood of any company today. We are in a digital economy. Talk about the Internet of Things, in a sense, our servers are Internet of Things connecting on our networks. We just need to make sure we have a linkage between the ALM and the HPSM. We had about 76,000 share points, so just massive numbers across all aspects of our company. All those resources that are not necessarily pivotal to newer emerging technologies that our business units are going to want us to enable. I don't think there's certainly ever been anybody close to it from just a sheer scope and scale. This is huge. Again, we're one team. Uh, we want to be the best team out there on the field. So let's go ahead and jump in again. Let's go. One of the biggest aspects of making that a reality, so the actual execution work, relies on IT. Three weeks ago, we pulled basically 250 people, and we start kind of walking through, here's how we're going to build test cases, here's how we're going to identify defects, here's how we're going to bring in a solution so that we can continue to be effective at day one. I just firmly believe that the face-to-face -face time is just something you can't beat. Meg and Alan are here. Hey, hey guys. Yeah. Infrastructure and their data and the security, and those were the most uh, critical elements and the most complex elements for us to go and separate as into two companies. We're getting progressive on areas that we think could be problematic. Those are not actual problems that have yeah. occurred. That's yeah. us investigating and driving change. And we did about 415 trials in terms of moving things into production. So these projects are running ahead of schedule, which is very good. Eliminating the risks here and running on something that we've tested for 24 hours at that point. And I think that the secret sauce was putting people in the right positions and telling them you are empowered to make this decision. We're going live starting tomorrow. TikTok. There was so much tension, there was so much activity, there was so much on the line. We had a multi-layered command center approach. We had command centers in Houston, we had them here in Palo Alto, we had them around the world. For the next call, uh, we'll be handing off to Singapore. I saw how people were dealing with issues before they became problems. There were four issues since yesterday that were logged into ALM. All four have been resolved and validated. If we miss this time frame, if we miss this, well, we're going to continue stress testing. This is at least a half a year slip. Started really early this morning. I saw 14 countries moved yesterday. Yep. This is a massive effort no one had ever done before. You can't imagine the scale. Three, two, one. We are in cutover. Yeah. Round of applause. I think the main reason for the success in our separation was we practiced, practiced, practiced. 15 seconds. Let's go. Think of a, of a NASA launch. They don't just all of a sudden throw up a rocket and it goes off into space. They practice that multiple times so they know exactly the sequence of events that needs to happen. 
We built 4,000 servers in two months. We split 2,500 applications. We generated 300,000 test cases. These are things that just are not normally done. Just massive numbers across all aspects of our company. You can't imagine the scale we're dealing with here. 400,000 mailboxes, 500 projects in flight. I don't think there's certainly ever been anybody close to it from a revenue perspective, from a breadth of business model perspective. 170 countries. This is the world's largest separation. And as I talk to our customers and they ask me, how did you accomplish this separation and this transition so quickly? Celebrating the first day of trading separate from the Hewlett Packard company. As they're thinking about doing a similar effort, um, we're anxious to share our plans, our templates, our roadmaps for how we did this so they can do something very similar. And I think for what we bring to our customers, it's borrowing from that same synergy, it's borrowing from that same knowledge base, it's taking that confidence and saying we know exactly how to do this. You know, you guys are doing a great job. So what we've done is very applicable across all industries. There's no book that's been written on this. Uh, we'll, we are writing that book. Good luck. You don't need luck. You made your own luck. We're going to make a practice of this, and now we have, you know, probably the biggest and best case to go out and uh, sell our expertise. When you run into an IT person, give them a hug. <laughs> when they see our team come in, the team that we're sending in is a team that was part of this. That's what I would want. I wouldn't want people who hadn't done it. I'd want people who've been there and done that. I mean, it was literally flawless. We learned a few things from separation about how fast we can deliver. There's Hewlett Packard Enterprise speed, and then there's everybody else's speed.